Hi everybody, it's me Jules. Um, it is Thursday night and tomorrow is my tonsillectomy or I guess in a in several hours it'll be my tonsillectomy so um, I wanted to do one last unboxing for you guys um, something that came in the mail today I had already opened it because um, I actually started filming but I had to redo it but I actually hadn't gone through the products yet I just got as far as showing you guys um, the, the the card that comes in the box so anyway Back to this, um, the one that I'll be unboxing for you guys is Mimi Box Global number 15. And as I was saying in the other video that I deleted, <laughs> I forgot that I was getting this box because this was something that I had purchased really, really early on in the year when they were having a promotion with um, buying like Mimi Box number 11 through 16 or something like that. So Quite surprised to be getting this today, but still, um, always a nice surprise. So in this box, we're getting seven products, and there's no per particular theme because this is a global. Um, so I'm just going to get started on the first item. And that is from Mies and Sing. This is the Perfect Repair Treatment Mask. And I'm consi I'm thinking that this is a conditioner. I'm um, sixteen dollars, one hundred and eighty mil, and this is a two-step hair care shampoo and rinse. Um, for I guess for the winter, and this is twice a week using this nourishing perfect. Um, repair treatment mask to deliver deep nutrition and repair and protect damaged ends. So. Um, it says here to apply the treatment after shampooing throughout your hair and then rinse it off after two to three minutes. So that's what that is. And the next item is also from the same brand, um, Miss Mice and Scene. I'm probably like slaughtering that name, but it is a serum. This is nine dollars, seven milliliters, and this is highly concentrated. Um, to be used before or after blow drying your hair to give it like a silky, well nourished look. And it's basically like, you know, very similar to maybe your hair oils or um, hair serums. Uh, it has argan, camellia, olive, jojoba, coconut, apricot, and marula. So it says here, its oil-like formula quickly absorbs into the hair without making it sticky or greasy. Um, you can use it after you towel dry your hair or after you blow dry your hair. I mean, really anytime you want. But I find that using serums, um, it's better when, you're, when you've partially blow dried your hair and then you put the serum on and then you finish off blow drying your hair. For some reason, it just... Um, for me it just absorbs better because when I do it before when my hair is super wet I think like my hair is feeling like way too like too much moisture because my hair is already wet and then I'm putting the serum on so the the water is kind of like blocking the absorption or I know that sounds stupid but that's just how I feel um, and then when I have it completely dry it just feels greasy so the heat actually um, like when I'm doing it partially partially wet and then I'll put this on and then I'll completely blow dry. I feel like part of the heat is um, helping the product absorb in a little bit better and then my hair feels also shinier and smoother so that's just how I use like serums like this or even like hair oils and stuff. Alright so the next product is a cleansing foam from Ariole and it looks like this kind of cute <laughs> this is um, a stress relieving cleansing oil um, it cre it's creamy um, so it produces foam bubbles that's supposed to penetrate your pores and clean away all makeup residues um, nothing really it doesn't really say anything about ingredients but it's very purifying and refreshing. It has a natural citrus fragrance. So things like that. But I don't see any ingredients as far as 
in the packaging or on the um, the card. All right, the next item is from Tony Moly. Um, this is BCD uh, B Sedation All Master SPF 30 Airlight Base. So it's a tinted um, CC cream or base cream. And it looks like this. And let's see. Usually these are way too light for me. Even after I put it on and let it um, sink in, it's still way too light. So as you can see, it's very, very light. But um, what I usually do, because I can never really completely use these products by itself, what I'll do is I'll use it as a base or as a primer, and then I'll put on a darker foundation, like a foundation that I would usually wear in the summer, and just kind of mix it in. And um, that's what I did today. I was actually using, um, which one was it? It was like the water BB cream that we got from one of the Mimi boxes. So it was super, super gray, like gray, pale, light on my skin. But I added a BB cream, um, no, a tinted moisturizer from Urban Decay um, that is a shade darker than what I usually wear. And this is how it turned out. So you can re you can't really like tell, but it helps um, lighten up the foundation. But it also helps like keep my makeup um, non oily because these products tend to really last all day. And that's why I kind of switched it up and started using it as a primer rather than a foundation because obviously I can't use it as a foundation by itself. As you can see, it turns like really really light. Um, but they dry up very quickly, so you really, really have to work with them um, quickly in the morning or whenever you apply it on. So that is that. The next item here is from Miss Age. It's the Snail Anti-Wrinkle Serum. And it looks like this right here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The Tony Moly... Um, Base is 50 grams, $24, and this Miss Age right here is $53, 50 milliliters. So let me open this up. I'm assuming it has snail extracts in here. Um, let me read this. So it says that it has, con it contains 5,500 milligrams of snail mucus extract. Um, that's supposed to help revive damaged skin, also provide abundant moisture and nutrition, um, treats any signs of aging, helps with tightening and lifting, um, and just helps with skin elasticity. So this is a serum. You put it after you wash and tone. It's a pretty big container. It kind of reminds me of, um, like, what do you call it? like a, an, a facial oil but this one is doesn't have any smell it's not very oily either it's more like a jelly texture you can't really see it's a clear one but it's not oily at all it's um doesn't smell anything but anyway I'm excited about that um it still kind of freaks me out to use snail mucus products but I said the same thing about donkey's milk, and it's working miracles on my skin. I mean, the donkey milk um, moisturizer that we got in the milk box is just amazing. So now I'm trying not to be so judgmental about products or unusual products that Korean makeup contains, especially things like snails or donkey milk or spider whatever I mean I don't even know what else but um I find that I'm proving myself wrong in my judgment like when I say like oh, I'm scared to use it but it turns out being such a great product so I'm trying to keep an open mind here um all right the next item is from Tusu Wong this is the makeup make on lip manicure 30 seconds 5.5 grams and this is $12 um, so you can get one of five, 
I got number five, which is real red. There's number one, cynical plum, number two, rouge coral, number three, pure peach, number four, sweet raspberry, and then number five, real red. So interesting. Let me see what real red looks like. Um, it looks like a lip gloss. Ooh. 30 second lip manicure. So it's naturally derived from essential oils. Mmm. Feels good. So I have pink lipstick on, so it's really not going to show you the true color. It's actually a pretty good, it's a pretty good combination. <laughs> but let me swatch it so you guys can see the actual color. Um, it's very thin texture. Looks like this. That's the, it's like that apple red. Really, 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 really nice. It feels light on your lips when you apply it, but it's starting to get a little sticky which I'm pretty sure is because it's drying up and as soon as it's dry it's just gonna be completely matte it kind of works like um, Stila's all day lipstick or something like that liquid lipstick which I love by the way um, so let's read it says it's gentle on the skin long-lasting color it will never smudge or wear away um, it's also supposed to dry in 30 seconds to create a perfectly vibrant and um, supple lips. So it's starting to get really sticky, but from experience, um, this is going to, as soon as it dries, it's not going to be as sticky anymore. Um, yeah, I actually really like this one. All right, the next thing is a eyeliner, and it looks like it's a shimmer liner. Um, you can either get silver or bronze, and I got the bronze one. I'm not going to open it because I've been getting a lot of, like, bronzy gold eyeliner, and I'm really not using them because I actually dislike wearing gold eyeliners, gold base eyeliners. Um, so I'm going to give this one away. But this is from Shara Shara. It's called the I Wanna... I want a pencil gel liner. This is $8, so you could either get dark brown or deep black, which is interesting because this is not dark brown. Or the other item on the picture is a silver color. So I think that may, may have been a typo. But um, this is a smudge-free matte finish eyeliner. And it's supposed to have a mini sharpener probably at the bottom. So that is it. That is all we have on this box. Um, overall, I think it has definitely a good selection on terms of you have hair product you got skin product you have lip and eyes um cleanser serum foundation so you have everything in this box it's really quite nice um but as for me it doesn't aside from this serum right here and this lip product right here the rest i could i just feel whatever about but these are great this lipstick is still sticky but I really love the color so the stickiness doesn't really bother me unlike some other people um, I know that if it's sticky some other people don't like it and that's why some people don't like um, using lip glosses because they tend to be sticky but for me it doesn't bother me in my opinion sticky lip glosses or sticky lip, um, lip products tend to last on a little bit longer um, it doesn't come off as quickly but you know if you're gonna like wear something like that make sure that that it's 
event appropriate. Like if you're gonna go on a date and you're gonna make up with make out with someone, obviously don't wear sticky lip glosses because that's just very unattractive and it's bothersome. But if you're just gonna go out and party and you're gonna go at a club or you're going out with friends and you don't really want to bother with touching up, this is perfect because I know it's not gonna come off as easy as after a few like drinks or even just a bite of whatever so I tend to like the sticky ones better because I'm that type of girl who I don't want to keep reapplying and a lot of the times I eat my lips like I bite on my lips and I eat this like I don't eat but I like tend to like bite my lip and mess with like the the outer corners so it's quite perfect to have lip glosses or lipstick that doesn't come off um, as quickly. So that's just me. That's a personal opinion. Obviously, it's different for everybody. But like I said, I'm really enjoying this color. It's, you know, it's pretty vibrant and it makes me look younger <laughs> for some reason. And yeah, um, it, again, it's a decent box, you guys. Um, if it's still available, I would say if, if you're new to... Mimi box, go ahead and get it because you're. I think this is something that you would enjoy. But because I already have almost every other box, um, I guess I'm just like okay with it. But yeah, you guys, I think um, I may have a couple more Mimi boxes coming through. Um, but I don't think I'll be able to unbox them for you guys for another two weeks. So I want to apologize in advance. But I did do a bit of binge filming over the past couple of weeks so you have a lot of material to look at um on my website or on my youtube website so make sure you just follow up with those like subscribe share do whatever you feel like doing but once again thank you for supporting me thank you guys thank you thank you thank you for always watching and leaving comments um it's i really do appreciate everything that you guys are doing for me um and as always if you have any questions um about these products make sure you let me know and i'll try to respond to you guys' comments as soon as i can all right that it, that is it i'm blabbering way too much i think i'm just so jittery from like the coffee that i just had about an hour ago which i should not probably have drank but I did. Um, so have a good night, you guys. If I don't talk to you for the next two weeks, have a good weekend. Have a good next two weeks. And I will see you as soon as I am well. Um, all right, you guys. Have a good night. And talk to you in the next video. Bye.